I love skateboarding and I've made quite a few skateboard projects over the years, including the giant Lego electric skateboard, which was mostly 3D printed, but it actually had a piece of plywood in it and a piece of steel tube down the bottom to make a pivot, so the front would tilt but the back wheels would stay on the ground. I also made an Iron Man themed five wheel electric skateboard with four wheels at the front and one at the back, and that was mostly 3D printed apart from two bits of extrusion that ran all the way through it. Then I made an entirely 3D printed skateboard out of Matter Hacker's carbon fibre reinforced PLA and tough PLA, and I made a kind of girder bridge structure to see how strong that material could be on its own without any reinforcement, at least running the length of the board. And that was much stronger than I thought it was, and that thing's still in one piece and perfectly functional. So then I thought, what's the weakest material I can make a skateboard out of just to see how strong it is? So today I'm going to make a skateboard out of cardboard. I'm going to use these cardboard tubes. This video isn't sponsored, but this is just a quick ad for ways you can support the channel, and that really makes all the difference to the projects. I have Patreon and YouTube channel membership, where you can get access to all the videos up to a week early and sneak peeks and pictures of what's coming up and be part of that discussion about the projects I'm about to build. I also have some affiliate links in the description to this video, so if you use those links to sign up to something or buy something, it won't cost you any more, but I'll get some money. There's a two month free trial sign up for Skillshare, Matter Hacker's 3D printing supplies, I have my Amazon affiliate links, and also Epidemic Sound. There's a free trial there for music for your YouTube channel if you have a YouTube channel, and that's a really well-priced service for getting tracks which you can use in all of your social media and your videos. I also have my merchandise store, so we have the Performance Robots t-shirts, Open Dog, Robot X, and various other pictures on various merchandise of things that I've built. Right, let's get back to these tubes. But are tubes strong? Well, we think they're strong, and that's because they are in fact stronger than the equivalent solid material. So if we took all of the material in this tube and squashed it flat or made it into a tiny square or even coiled it up round, the tube is going to be stronger because it's the same material, but it's a bigger structure. So as long as we keep that tube round and we don't crush it flat, then it's going to be quite a strong structure, stronger than if we just got the cardboard, glued it all together and made a flat skateboard. So the plan is to keep it in a tube shape and use multiple tubes to try and make the skateboard board board. So now I've stuck three tubes together to make a tube that's three tubes thick. So we've got one tube around the outside like this, one round the outside like this, all glued to the middle tube. So this should be three times stronger than a single tube. And I've done that seven times, so now we can use this to make the board for the skateboard. So I've glued together seven tubes. Obviously the contact area between them isn't very big because they're round, but nonetheless they seem to be stuck together and that seems to be quite a substantial structure. And of course each one of those is three cardboard tubes thick. So now we need to put some wheels on each end and see if I can skate on it. So I was gonna stack up cardboard this way, lots and lots and lots of thin cardstock glued together to make a block that we can mount the wheel on, but actually that's gonna take ages to cut out all those profiles, probably hundreds of them. So I'm gonna cheat and use 3D prints and just put the wheels on each end and that'll still test whether this cardboard structure is strong enough in the middle for me to stand on and ride. Right, so there's two of those and they've got the wheels on, which are just normal skateboard wheels. I'm not gonna try and make cardboard wheel bearings for now, but I'd like to in the future for another vehicle. So obviously they fit on each end and that turns it into a skateboard. So let's see how far I can go on it.
Well, it's still in one piece, and I'm pretty surprised how strong that is actually, and it is really just empty cardboard tubes. There's no wood inside, and I didn't cheat. They're still completely empty cardboard tubes, even with people jumping on it and all sorts of things. So that's pretty strong. Even the tops haven't flattened or anything where I was standing on it, so those three cardboard tubes glued together are pretty tough. And obviously the whole thing is entirely straight, it's not even bowed. So I'm pretty happy of how that's turned out. It's given me quite a lot of faith to make more projects like this with minimal 3D prints and the main construction out of cardboard. So the next thing is I'm gonna try and make a cardboard car I can drive in, which will be an electric vehicle. And I'm gonna try and make all the steering out of cardboard and hopefully the axles and wheel bearings, which will be quite interesting to see. It might be a couple of build videos, but look out for that in the future. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this and robots and lots of other things.